Alright, this is Dark Bones. Welcome back to Let's Play Doremi Fantasy. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't want to hit that. Alright, so we last left off. I was at like an idiot thinking that it was the end of the game, but turns out it wasn't. And now I am beating what I think is the last world, which I still am in shock is made of Legos, by the way. Seriously though, why? Then again, there was an entire land made out of candy. I mean, sure it was an earlier world, but still. Okay, so let's get back to where we were. I don't know what I was thinking about, but oh well. Sorry, I'm a bit tired today. I also find it funny how they're repeating the music from the Candyland too. Obviously, you can't hear it because I still haven't got the recording set up set up yet. And no, we still have to collect those. It's true. No. Still, some of them are like in plain sight, but most of the time they're not. Ugh. Oh joy, we're going to be having a lot of fun in this world. And I thought, at least being the final world, we'd finally be done with that. Guess not. No, it just watches even after we get five stars. We still have to get five more fragments. I mean, seriously. Just watch as we get this one star. We need to find five more star pieces. I mean, I don't mind having to explore trying to find that. Well, I mean, I mind it, but I wouldn't mind nearly as much if it was like an optional thing. Because then I could decide, like, oh, do I want to go for it? Do I want to get like the better ending? And if I do, then I go and find him, and if I don't, I don't. That's like having to collect all the star coins in New Super Mario Brothers, or having to collect all the Yoshi coins in Super Mario World. Or having to find find a secret in the Forest of Illusion. So, I mean, that was different. It, it was called the Forest of Illusion, so... Anyway, let's get back to this. Man, I'm tired today. This music is catchy. It's not my favorite in the game. I forget where that one was, actually. It was something to do with water. I know that. It was really good. Ooh, what's in here? Is this a boss? No, just a door. Like, it was a special door. Look, like it was a boss door. You have to admit that. <laughs> Pillows. Please, could you have a final world any lamer? Come on. It almost looks like a child's bedroom. The only time, like, a child's bedroom theme has really been intimidating is, like, if you're talking about, like, Bowser Jr. or something. I mean, that's completely different. Because he, because he has giant, dangerous toys that want to kill you. Actually, I don't know. Would those count as Bowser Jr.'s toys in Toy Time Galaxy? Not sure. I'm actually not sure what Bowser Jr. owns and then what Bowser owns because this face has been confusing since sunshine. Let's see. Oh, is that Bowser's minion or Bowser's... Okay, why am I talking about Mario again? Seriously. This has nothing to do with Mario. What? No! Actually, this doesn't look too bad. Ugh! Okay, it wasn't too bad. Invincibility! Wow, that was running slow for some reason. Uh-huh, I don't have to wait for you. 
Oh, this actually isn't too bad, actually. And I said actually twice. Actually, actually, actually. Oh, most of these are generally in the path you're going anyway, or at least in plain sight from the main path, as opposed to some of those others. And is that thing immune to bubbles? I think it is. It's gonna stink. One of those things gets in my way. A bubbles made of like soap and water. You think that would actually be effective on fire, but guess what? It's not. Apparently, it doesn't work in, on fire in this world. How ironic. Yet it works on everything else. Yes, I have to get everything. Ah, forget that. Oh, and then I don't even try and then get it. Wow. That's insulting. Anyway, let's keep going. Do 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 Sorry if the commentary sounds a little depressed. I mean, I'm not. Just a bit tired. Also, I really don't know what to say about this. I mean, come on! The Lava World should have been the last one. I mean, at the very least, like, make this one earlier one and then make the Lava one the last one. Because, I mean, what kind of villain would say, like, oh, I'm not going to hide the Lava level. That's where they expect me. No, I'm going to hide in the world of Legos. Blah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I, oh, I actually think I might, nah, but if anyone doesn't know, like, I, I design games in my spare time sometimes. I've never really finished much, though, so I was thinking, like, oh, one day I'm still going to do that. Like, have the lava world and they not be there, like, oh, I'm in the candy land of Legos and dolls and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm so terribly evil. You'll never think to find me here. In the first world. This isn't hard, it's just I'm screwing up. It'd be a bit easier on an actual system, but oh well. So anyway, we're making pretty decent progress. Was there not a star in that one? Or maybe I got it? I don't know. Maybe there's only stars in some of these? I don't know. Well, I'm out of things to say, so one thing that I actually find kind of strange, I know it's probably purely coincidental, but at the same time I started this LP, someone actually had um rip some graphics from the beginning of this game for Mario World Hacks. I, for, I don't think it was because of me. I mean, it was, uh... It wasn't the first level. I think it was actually one of the cutscenes that was ripped. I don't know. I actually did think I like porting some of the music from this game, though. A lot of it's really good. Um... Uh, what was that? What is that thing? What is that? WHAT ON EARTH IS THAT THING?! How's the thing even supposed to hurt me?! What is it?! Okay, that episode aside, let's keep going. Seriously, how are these things supposed to hurt me?! Hold on, I gotta... Someone's messaging me. Anyway, let's get back to that. Eh, oh well, it's quicker than waiting for that pause screen to unpause, I guess. Seriously, how's the thing supposed to hurt me? And then, when I say, oh, how's it supposed to hurt me, I jump, like, right into it. And I can understand if, like, something's there, like, you're running and it's there, because, I mean, it can't even attack you. All it does is, like, you run into it. Oh, okay, you're hurt. It's like, it's almost like a muncher, I guess. Excuse me, a muncher and a hack. They put it in stupid places. 
So either you'll never hit it, or you're all, or you're always going to hit it. Ah, stupid itchy leg. Ah, ugh, I must be so itchy. Every time I get here, it starts itching. I guess, like, my leg is trying to taunt me, saying, oh, you're going to get hit by that thing. Because you said it was easy to dodge. Ah. Now, obviously, that time I wanted to hit it, because, oh! I did not expect that. I didn't think that they could flip when you were on them. That's funny, actually. Yeah. Ah. Sheep. Aha. There we go. So long. And... That one had a started. Yes! Oh! Not to actually search. It's probably in this room, I'm assuming. I'm hoping it's in this room. Ugh! Ooh, that's so itchy. Well, because I have nothing better to talk about. I hear, um, Song Generations is out now. I, I say it looked pretty good, actually. It especially for, um, Sega standards. Of course, I don't really play many of the newer Sonic games. I remember playing, like, one of, like, the 3D ones. I don't even remember what it was called. I don't even know what it was called, but... You know, since I have nothing better to talk about, I guess I'll talk about that a little bit when I was... Pretty little... Yeah, the star's here. Pretty little. Walked up to Nick's Xbox one day in a Target, and I'm like, ooh, what's this? And it was like one of the newer Sonic games, and uh, I don't know what it was, but um, I forget what the title of the game was, but I remember that um, you were playing as like Tails and Sonic and Knuckles like all three at once, and like you were switching in between, and I eventually remember at one point, like, I'd never played a Sonic game before, and then I found it like, Tails can fly? Screw this! And flew through the whole level. I remember that. Okay, so the minigame. Oh, I forgot I had... Oh, this is the Counting the Birds one. Well, might as well abuse the... Nah. One. Only one flew all the way across, I think. I'll be fair. One, two, two, three. Oh well. Let's see what I got. Ten notes. Wow. Actually, I don't think we've seen one of those bonus games in a. What the? Okay. Awkward. I don't know. Maybe it's like maybe Z SNES doesn't like to agree with the X chat or Y chat or whatever. Cause I forgot to close the IR the Super Mario World Central IRC. And is this a boss? Oh, yeah, it is a boss. Let me uh. Okay, I need to watch that time on cam suit. Ah, the window isn't selected. Jeez. Oh, it was. So she can't move at this part. <laughs> he looks like D King DDD with a bow on his head and inside some sort of present box. What the? How'd that hit me? I was above that. I don't know what other boss this reminds me of. Don't know what it is, but I remember I remember seeing a boss kind of like this somewhere. Maybe it actually been something I did. Not sure. It's hard to tell sometimes, I guess. You play so many good games, you see so many awesome bosses, I guess. And this one isn't really that awesome, but oh well. <laughs> I'm behind you. I'm cheaping you out. Oh. <laughs> You suck. Haha. <laughs> I win. Alright, I'm making some good progress. It's a beautiful crystal. Yeah, that doesn't help 
that doesn't help me get the last instruments that I don't have to click these stars anymore. Hmm? What's that thing do? Uh oh. All right. That's more like it. Hmm. Does this close resemble a final world here? <laughs> that's kind of cool. Even the animation on the overworld, that's cool. Didn't think that they'd actually take the time to do that. Oh, well. And, let's see. Alright, this is more like it. Only the sky were a bit darker, though, but oh well. The sky are more of a gray, almost black, more of a foreboding atmosphere. Yeah, it's certainly better than Legoland, I can tell you that much. Certainly harder, too. Whoa! Didn't expect that! Ah! 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 We. All right, this place is cool. I like this place. So much cooler than Legoland. So much more threatening too. Now. I could see the final boss living in the in the sky. I could clearly see that. That's awesome. I mean, really, Legoland. I should have known better. They did that just to throw us off, or or just so they didn't waste work on coding that present boss. They said, "No, let's just stick it at the end. Let's make it with Legos." I don't know. I guess they decided to change like one of the. First or second world's bosses, Leah Sadawa. <laughs> Meta Knight ripoff. I guess, kind of, but not really. Alright! Music here is so catchy. It's actually giving me sort of a Super Mario Land vibe. Actually, no, more of a, more of a Kirby, actually. Sounds more like Kirby music. We D D D D Yeah, this whole area is giving me a giving me a how do I describe it? Just a just that kind of Kirby feel. And no, it's not just the weird Meta Knight ripoff thing. Oh what's in here? Um, oh, I think I get it. Just jump on you and no. Oh, the ladder. Jeez, they made a mistake in the text about the ladders and didn't th and if they made that big of a mistake you think they wouldn't actually expect you to use it that much or else they would have probably proofread that thing a lot because I got stuck there also this is the first time that we've really seen something that's you know like not a secret that has been used outside of its respective world that you've gotten it Ugh. ah Eh, whatever's in there is not worth it. Oh, oh I'm just glad over it. That would have stunk, actually. Yeah, because I crumbled it beforehand. And yeah, I think he spawned it, not sure. Oh, there are no more stars? Yay! Alright. This is more like it. This is awesome! Oh, into the paintings. Forgot about that. They said that, didn't they? Yay! Super Mario 64! 
Wee. But the music sounds like Kirby, so I guess not quite Super Mario 64. Maybe su Super Kirby 64, but in 3D instead of Crystal Shards, which was still an awesome game, but it would have been nice to see Kirby like in a full 3D game. The closest we got is Era. Sorry. As close as you, get, you can get playing Kirby in 3D, unless there's some fan game I don't know about. They still need to do that. It kind of what they did for um, what they kind of did for Mario, but with Kirby in like a full 3D on the exploration thing. That'd be awesome. I mean, they did it for Donkey Kong, and they did it for uh, several other characters. I'm pretty sure. Then again, maybe they're cautious because, like, well, it didn't work well for Sonic. Maybe it won't work well for Kirby either. I mean, I could understand that. And oh, so we have to go through one of those because it's the third one. Then is that so? Like, is there another path? Let's go with number three. Maybe this is a do the paths in the correct order thing. And if it is, oh, I'm gonna hurt somebody if that's the case. And I hurt somebody. I mean, whoever's idea this was to make it a, let's face it, we've all hated those things since Mario 1. I'm pretty sure that's like the first game to use something like that. And I'm pretty sure it's one of the last Mario games that have actually done that. I think Japanese Mario 2 did that. I don't think anything, well, New Super Mario Brothers did. But I mean, I understand that. It was more of a nostalgia thing there. And it wasn't hard at all. Yeah, this is a pick the right thing. Well, not quite as bad as it is in like the Mario in Mario One. It's just like, oh, you try one level out, if and that's not the one, so you have to go go back to the main room and try another. That's not nearly as bad as repeating the same segment over and over till you finally get the combination of paths you're supposed to go along. Jeez, what is the correct timing for that jump? Oh, I know the correct timing. Don't get the notes. And yet, when I don't try, I get them anyway. And of course, because I rewind, because it's a stupid bat. Ah. Don't get the notes. They're not worth it. And of, co of course, this is like the episode of, you try to get it, well, you don't get it. Ness. I don't know. N Ness, Inator, Omega. I don't know. Being random here. This is the episode of Try and You Will Not Succeed. I still call the video that Try and You Shall Not Succeed or something like that. And of course, now that I've said it, even if it's a stupid title, I have to do it. Come on. Hmm. Mm, yes. Come on. The video's trailing on a bit long. That isn't it. I just take the hit. Ah, oh, come on, people. Yes, just. I'm not taking two hits for that. What? Wait a minute. What the? My. No! What? You have to go all the way back? What? That's not fair. It's not very nice at all. Okay, minor interruption. For now, uh, this device only hit start again. Okay, so we go in door number three. Um, oh wait, forgot to get the health over here. It's probably going to be very helpful, actually. I guess I need to take another hit. Do, 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 do.
Seriously, getting a huge Kirby vibe here. I guess I'm just gonna have to save in between everything. Actually, I'm gonna get back to the room I was and probably just cut off the episode. It's getting a bit long. I'm gonna have to cut it off. Whoa. Too many enemies in here, methinks? I got a bit of slowdown? Too many sprites on the screen? Maybe, maybe since there's so many, if I keep squirting bubbles, maybe some won't spawn. I wonder what was in that last one, but I don't want to find out because it means I have to go up the long way. Go to save here. All right, this is Dirt Bones signing out. See you guys.